Have you ever felt like your faith is dwindling? Like it is fading away that the more you try and the more you focus and the more you strain, you seem to have more doubts, frustrations, or anger with God. Have you ever been there? Or are you there right now? Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. You may have noticed this is not my normal setup. I'm standing outside because I wanna tell you guys a short story. Well, less of a story, more of a life lesson. You see, I'm standing outside actually in my front yard to tell you about how over the past two weeks, my wife and I have been getting up every morning at 7 a.m. and running up and down this road. Why? Well, because we've taken a vow. We've taken a vow for fitness, for health, that we wanna be around for our daughter in another 40 years. So we push each other and we fight with each other, but we get out here every morning and we run up and down this road for one simple reason, so that we could be healthy. You see, we understand that it's not easy and that it's not fun. We don't enjoy it. We're sweating and we're panting and we don't like it and we don't wanna get out of bed every morning but we do because we understand that anything worthwhile in life is gonna take hard work and it's gonna take discipline. It's gonna take doing things you don't want to do to be successful. You see, it says for a concert pianist to be ready, they have to have over 10,000 hours of practice. That's three hours a day, seven days a week for 10 years. A neurosurgeon has to go to school 18 years after high school. Anything worth doing is gonna take time, discipline and hard work. Yet so often we get stuck in this thought that Christianity, that faith, that spirituality is easy. That all we have to do is maybe show up at church one or two days a month and we're good to go. Now I'll admit, grace and salvation sort of works like that. That when we are saved, we are saved. But that's not the end of our journey. That is the beginning of our journey. Too many Christians get this idea that once I have salvation, I'm done, my job is over. No, your job has just begun because now you have a work to do. You have a ministry to do, but that's not the purpose of this video. Now you see, anything we do in life, we're gonna have to work at. Anything worth doing in life, you have to work at. Our faith is no different. In fact, Paul says it like this in his letter to Timothy. In 1 Timothy 4, 7, Paul starts and says this, have nothing to do with godless myths and old wives tells, rather train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Notice what Paul says here. He very specifically says this statement, this word was picked not randomly, but on purpose. He says, train yourself to be God. In case you're wondering, yes, the Greek means the same thing as the English. To train yourself is to repetitively do something, to work hard, to pursue, to move forward, to train over and over and over again. He's suggesting that this faith that we have, that the spiritual life that we have is not instant and it's not easy, but we have to train ourselves to be godly. And we have to train ourselves like we would train ourselves for a marathon with daily practice, daily discipline, daily hard work that we have to be in the word of God. We have to be in prayer. We've got to hit our knees during hard times. There's going to be days where we don't want to wake up and run down this road, but we've got to get up and we got to hit our knees and go to God anyway. There's going to be days that it's hard. There's going to be days we don't want to do it. There's going to be days that we doubt. There's going to be days that we don't want to move forward, that we don't want anything to do with God, that we don't believe God, we don't trust God. We've got to do it anyway. When you train at something, you consistently keep doing it. It takes hard work. It takes discipline. Anything worth doing in this life is not going to be easy. So if you've ever felt like you're at a crossroads of faith and doubt and you're, you're leaning more toward doubt or your faith is dwindling or it's falling away, that love you had with God has slowly declined. If you're at that place, ask yourself, are you training yourself to be godly? Or are you simply accepting salvation and just easing through life. Because if we look in the book of Acts, the Christians were never called to ease through life. We were called to pick up our cross and to carry it daily. We were called to get in the word of God daily, to memorize his word, to know him, to pray to him, to have an intimate connection, an intimate relationship with him. That is the call of a Christian. It's not easy. It takes work. Oh, but is it worth it? That's what I want to leave you guys with today. If you felt like you're there, if you're currently there right now, ask yourself, 
Are you training yourself to be God? Be honest. It's just you that's answering. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I release content just like this every single week. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if this helped you or if it inspired you. All right, guys, keep living that bold life.